Hey there, it's Victoria McCooey, founder of the Divorce Course for Women. So it's another Manic Monday, and I'm talking today about what I call high road parenting. It's really hard sometimes to take the high road when you're co-parenting with someone who's breaking all the rules and you feel like you're just being bulldozed, like just walked all over um, because you want to put the kids best interest first, and they're not doing that. Um, it's so, so difficult not to just combat that with the same behavior, you know, like, but in the big, big picture, which is so hard for you to see when you're in the divorce, when you're in the struggle, um, but the big, big picture is doing what's best for your kids is going to pay off tenfold. Uh, it's just not even close. Um, if you can see it from my perspective, from having been through it and come out and also having seen so many other women going through it and what really makes the difference is taking the high road. Um, it's hard, you know, you just, you just can't take the bait. So I thought of this one example, believe me, I did not do everything right when I was co-parenting. But this one, I think I did, and so I want to share it because it's a great example of how hard it can be um, to do what's best for your kids in the moment. But so my kids were little. Um, I'm thinking six, eight, and ten, maybe, and the youngest one, oh, yeah, so the youngest one was making his first communion, so he was eight, um, eight, ten, and twelve then. So... My mother had flown in from New Orleans for this event for the weekend to New York. Uh, my, it was my weekend technically on the schedule, and it was um, my son's first communion, and it was Mother's Day. So all of these events coincided, right? It was Sunday. It was Mother's Day. My mother was, was visiting from out of town. It, the kids were supposed to be with me that weekend. Um, we go to the church. Oh, okay. So the communion was on a Saturday. We go to the church and, um, their father is there with his grandmother who lived locally. Um, and so after the ceremony, they went to see her and then come, they came back and we were scheduled to go have a celebration, have lunch out, you know, like whatever. Um, and they said, you know, mom, dad said that we should go with him tonight because um, so we can spend more time with Grams because, you know, she's really old and we should spend more time with her. So he thinks it's like we, we, we think we should go be with her. All right. Wow. Right. So dad undermines the schedule, tells them that guilts them into thinking it's more important to spend time with their elderly grandmother, great-grandmother, actually, than with their grandmother who's visiting them specifically from out of town. Um, it's Mother's Day weekend, right? The next day is Mother's Day. Like, everything, every reason for, for me to say no, you, no. No, it's, this is not the deal. You need to be with me. But you know what? We're in the church. They drank the Kool-Aid. They wanted to be with their great-grandmother. Um, so I looked at my mother, and she looked at me. We both thought the same thing. Let them go. Absolutely. Let them go. So no fight, no drama, no anything. My mother and I went out and had a great time. Uh, visiting each other, you know, we, we went out to lunch by ourselves, you know, we made the best of it. We made the best of a bad situation, but how hard is that? How hard is that to say, what are you thinking? Like, why would you do that? But in the bigger picture, what they remember is that I never caused the drama. Their dad was the one who always caused drama who always had to throw a wrench in the plans at the last minute. Believe me, they totally get that now. Um, it's so hard to do, but 
with the right support, with the right guidance, with the right people around you, you can make those decisions in the moment that are going to pay off in the, in the long run. Um, I definitely think that all the things that led up to the, my relationship that I have with my children now were um, because of taking the high road with them, because of not doing a tit for tat kind of uh, battle with their dad. Um, believe me, things were bad enough, but um, that was something that I really tried so hard not to do, and I failed a lot of times. But I'd like to think if I had a coach at the time helping me to see what was really the most important thing, that um, it would have been a lot easier for me. All right, so that is my real life example of why you need to practice high road parenting when you're in those tough situations with your kids and their other parent. Um, I have a link in my post. You are always welcome to book a free call with me. I'm always available to talk to you about your own issues and to talk to you about the possibility of working with me as your divorce coach. All right, take care and I will see you next week.